Today we went to Camp Hero just outside Kandahar Airfield. It's an Afghan National Army camp where ISAF is mentoring the ANA. I had a chance to sit down with ANA Major Abdul Majid and Canadian Captain Gord Barnes. Day 9 starts right now. Uh, it's fundamental. It's, it's absolutely necessary to have a strong working relationship or it won't succeed. Um, if, if Majid refuses to work with me, then I am unable to do my job effectively. So we have to work together, uh, build that strong relationship, uh, mainly built on trust. The Afghans are extremely, uh, extremely, uh, uh, <laughs> extremely, <laughs> that's what we're looking for. The Afghans uh, rely a lot on trust and your word. So if, if I tell them something and I don't come through, uh, it, it doesn't do anything for our relationship, it, it hurts it. So it's important for me to be honest uh, with Majid and uh, that's how we build that strong relationship. دیگه ای با وجودی دی که وظیفه ای او آسمانی است دیگه ای رفته بود دم شفاخانه سعی کرد که این نفر از زخمی است این نفر شهید شده است دیگه برای من راپور داد ما با خوانا سویلوا دادم برای خوانا سویلوا بسیار خوش شد از این کسر چون وظیفه ای من بود ما باور دارم که قوای اطلاع قوای اصاف امره ما کاملا قلبا کار میکنه و کمک میکنه ما کاملا باور دارم um. It's the friendliness, uh, it's the uh, hospitality. Wherever you go, you're offered chai, uh, you're offered sweets. Um, it's, it's never just business. There's always a bit of social aspect to it. They want to know about your family. They would like to know about you know, how you're doing um, and what you've been up to. Uh, and then you'll get to business. It's not strictly a, a straight to business type of world here, it's more of, cordial and, and friendly. And how important is patience in, in working that relationship? It's absolutely vital. Uh, coming from a different culture, uh, you know, especially a military, the Canadian military, which is, uh, I feel, is similar to the American military, uh, very, uh, very, you know, a strict regimental type of, of uh, work day, um, always on time. So, when you come to Afghanistan, you have to be prepared to adapt to, the, to their culture because us as mentors, uh, we're not here to employ the ANA. We're here to work with them so that they can run the military themselves. So in no way uh, can we impose our values or our, uh, our, our, work, uh, our strict work ethic that we have uh, in our military to them. They have their own, which works for them. And we just have to adapt to that and uh, make it work. We believe that, for example, the Prime Minister, because of the Taliban, is not just a matter of trust, but because of a conflict, 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 Major Majid said during the interview that he learned to practice medicine in Pakistan. Now that his two sons are growing up, they're considering pursuing their own medical degrees. One thing has changed though. They're considering Kabul University right here in Afghanistan. It's a small sign of hope based on trust and commitment shown by his Canadian mentor. Join us tomorrow as we continue 30 days through Afghanistan.